Hi friends, now let us try to prove that uh, vertex cover problem is NP complete. So as uh, seen in the previous uh, sessions that uh, this can be easily done by reducing it from a known NP complete problem. So the well known NP complete problem is a three side problem and if we can solve or reduce this three side problem into our vertex complete problem then we can claim that vertex cover problem is NP complete yes of course so for it to be NP complete two conditions required one it should be a NP problem yes vertex cover problem to solve needs exponential time and uh, solution is an exponential time and verification is a quality time activity. So if somebody gives the solution maybe by magic, so it can be verified whether the solution is right or not in poly time therefore it is ENP and if we can reduce it to a three side problem if we can reduce to our uh, vertex cover problem then we can claim that it is ENP complete okay so let's take one example of three side problem so it is x1 bar or x2 or x3 bar and x1 or x2 bar or x3 and x1 or x2 bar or x3 bar yeah that's a three set problem we have and for solving this we need to do two things one we need to create an edge map that is uh, x1, x1 bar, x2, x2 bar, and x3, x3 bar. So one for each literal. And then we need something called uh, one for each uh, clause. So we get a x1 bar, x2, x3 bar, x1, x2 bar, x3, x1, x2 bar, x3 bar. So, what is required for uh, every clause, if one is available, that is sufficient. Therefore, we make sure that only one to be used. So, that makes one, uh, for every clause, we get a triangle done. And then, we connect from the literals to this clause triangles so x1 bar that is x2 this is x3 bar then we have x1 then we have x2 bar And then we need x3 so that's uh, x3 then uh, this is x1 this we need x2 bar then that's x3 bar 
done. So we are looking for, uh, we are trying to find the minimum number of vertices to be selected so that each of these edges is covered. So that's the aim of that. So the aim is find minimum number of vertices. So that make the graph shown created here fully connected. I'm sorry, fully covered. Okay. So this uh, line is used just to make sure that uh, x1 or x1 bar only one of them should be selected not both because you cannot make x1 high and x1 low simultaneously therefore one of them should be selected x2 or x2 bar should be selected x3 or x3 bar should be selected so one of the three should be selected okay and then from this to make sure that uh, every all the three edges here are connected two of the triangle should two of the nodes in the triangle need to be selected so if you want to make this to be covered totally covered then this edge this vertex will cover these two edges and this vertex will cover these two edges so to make sure that all three edges are covered, two vertices are sufficient. Therefore, we can select any of the two vertices so that it can cover these things. Okay, what can we do? So if I select uh, X1, so if I select X1, so then these two are taken care so you don't have to worry about these two so let me select these two here let me select these two here so that uh, confirms this selection and because this is selected so this gets covered and this is selected so this gets covered this is selected so this curve covered this is selected therefore this gets selected covered this is covered this is covered what else needs to be covered so next if i take up x2 then i don't think uh, we need so we need a two from here so if i select uh, x2 then I can select these two so that will make these three covered and this x2 will confirm this covered so what else is remaining so this is covered this this is used therefore this is covered this is used so this is covered this is used this is covered this is used this is covered, this is your, this is covered, this is your, this is covered, this is covered. So, this, this, this covered, this um, from here, this is covered. This needs to, this is okay, covered. So, this uh, covered, this is covered, from here, this is covered, this is covered. So, if you look at it, uh, I think uh, every Thing got covered so uh, from here if you look now one by one from place if you look at from here this is covered this is covered this is covered from here this is covered from here this is covered from here this one is covered this one is covered this is covered because of this this is covered because of this and this is uh, covered this is covered so from this side if you look at this is covered this is covered this is covered this is covered 
this one covered this one covered this one covered this one is covered this one is covered so only this needs to be covered so for covering this one we need to select no any because all other things are covered you are free to select either x3 or x3 bar okay let me select x3 bar and because of that this gets covered so what did i select we selected x1 equal to true x2 equal to true and x3 equal to false that is x3 bar was selected so with these selections we can see that uh, all the edges are covered so we say that this problem is uh, verified that it is with x1 x2 equal to 1 x3 equal to 0 it has got a complete vertex cover so will that solve this problem let's check it x1 is equal to 1 so this is 0 x2 is equal to 1 so we have a 1 here x3 equal to 0 therefore x3 bar is 1 x1 is 1 so 1 here x2 is 1 therefore x2 bar is 0 x3 is 0 therefore it is 0 here x1 is 1 x2 bar is 0 x3 bar is 1 so so this is 0 or 1 or 1 so we get a 1 for this class then 1 or 0 or 0 we get a 1 for this class 1 or 0 or 1 so we get a 1 for this class so 1 and 1 and 1 we get a 1 here so we had found out the values of x1 x2 x3 such that this graph this graph is fully covered with these three vertices and we can see that the same values if we put that here this also gets solved so this is also verified for this value so what we did was we converted this into this and for that we needed a poly time and somehow found this solution so that may be magically because there was uh, no uh, deterministic way of solving this we just uh, used our intelligence and all that we could see everything parallelly therefore we could solve that in almost linear time or polynomial time but in reality uh, I cannot convert whatever I told in solving this problem whatever uh, we discussed while solving this problem that whole concept cannot be put in the form of a code and make a computer to work on that therefore I call this a non-deterministic way of working but yes once this solution is found then we can deterministically verify in poly time right so that's a uh, we have done conversion in poly time so this is done in poly time and the result of this if substituted here this also giving same result so if this says yes this is also saying yes so you can select any other combination for which this is no so for example if you make a x1 equal to 0 say if x1 is 0 x2 is 1 x3 is 0 as it is if you look at it so instead of uh, this if you make x1 equal to 0 then x1 bar will be 1 uh, x1 bar uh, what is that higher if you make x1 equal to 0 then this whole thing fails therefore the output will be 0 so if I make x1 equal to 0 
then instead of selecting this if i had selected this then the whole thing would have changed and uh, this was not required so we need to use these two and uh, that way some will remain uncovered and uh, this fails to provide a total uh, vertex cover so this says that uh, x1 0 x2 1 x3 0 will not give vertex cover so it says the answer is no so there is no vertex cover with this inputs so the same thing this is also saying with x1 0 x2 1 x3 0 this is also fails so what is it trying to say is all the instances of this whatever results it gives an equivalent instance here will also give same yes or no answers therefore we claim that three set problem is reduced to uh, vertex, vertex uh, cover problem and that is done in polynomial time so we can finally conclude that uh, three set problem is reduced to vertex cover problem in poly time and all instances of VC problem uh, if uh, converted back to the instances of three set problem then the verification of this is same as verification of this so if this for any instance if it is true for that equivalent instance this also will be true and for any instance if it is false then its equivalent instance here is also false therefore we claim that the vertex cover problem is NP complete. So that's it friends. So we could prove that vertex cover problem can be derived out of three set problem and we know that three set problem is NP complete therefore vertex cover problem indeed is also NP complete so many more similar problems to follow in the coming sessions so keep watching thank you